There it is. Admit Johnny to the Zoom call waiting meeting room. What up with it? What up? How you doing, bro? <laughs> Pretty good. I, I gotta tell go you the- what. Let me what? tell you what. I'm so thrilled and excited about our silly glasses. This is I'm so happy that this is our new thing. I gotta get a, another pair though, because I tried to uh <laughs> I tried to go with just a regular pair of sunglasses, but then A. I couldn't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> That's a kind and of a problem. B, and B, I don't want to look like a complete cokehead. You know what I mean? At the bank at 1030 waiting for another package. <laughs> yeah. That's you fair. Know. You probably don't. So I'm just going with the princes. I love it. The princes are mm-hmm. great. I got my uh, coffee talk glasses. Look mm-hmm. at else I got. Listen here. What's up? I'm rocking a Bud Light. I got me a red beer, too. I'm going to get all kind of silly. Yeah. Getting all kind of silly on a Wednesday. I was going to say, I'm swinging hard, but Dr. Pepper, you know, Swinging hard with Dr. Pepper. I love it. I'm swinging hard. Let's get Pepsi on this fucking, on this train. (laughs) Let's, oh, Lord. Let's please do Pepsi and Budweiser also. We would I'm be very happy hard. to be sponsors for for Budweiser or mm. Dr Pepper. Uh, I'm but gonna. Uh, can we have a Pepsi Coke feud? That would be fun. For sure. But then, but then again, like all the rednecks and stuff aren't drinking Bud Light anymore. So, I, uh, I don't know. That is that a new rule? Oh, by the way, I'm well, Haley, oh, and I'm Johnny, <laughs> and this is Johnny, Johnny. Haley, Haley. Day, Day of, of fun. fun. But no, ever um what are, what are, what are the redneck? We are rednecks. Well, I understand, but like <laughs> we come from redneck country, Johnny for sure. Boy. For sure. Obviously, but, we're like, also very creative and cool, but like but I missed I missed the memo on a on a couple things. Um so the Bud Light the Bud we Light. We don't drink thing, Bud Light anymore. Well, well, people don't drink Bud Light anymore because they had that trans person as the spokesperson. Oh, okay. So rednecks so, are upset. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's got to be, listen, there's cool rednecks out there too. So there's got to be some sure. of them that are like not, I mean, or the, I don't, that sneak red yeah. beers with their other redneck friends. Yeah. But I mean, to be honest, Bud Light was shit way before that happened. So. I mean, they listen, I'm not the wagoners. biggest beer drinker generally anyway, but like I used to have red beers with dad all the time. So like I always kind of like yeah. to have red beers because I'm like, oh, that's what I have with dad. Well, I mean, a Bud Light and a red beer that I guess that makes sense because you're you're giving it something. You know what I mean? You're flavoring it. You're giving it to me. I mostly want it for the tomato and... flavor. Like but that's I, what I, mean. I want it because it's salty. It's a good vehicle to get you lit and you don't really taste it. A Bud Light by itself. That is correct. Yes. But I know I agree. I agree with you. Like regular Bud Light, you have to put olives and pickles and stuff in it to make it interesting. A can of Bud Light. That's. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Bud Light, please come sponsor us. (laughs) It's it's almost insulting when I go to somebody's house and they offer me a Bud Light. I don't want a beer in the first place. I don't you're want to be in the first Bud place. Light. You're putting me. You're really. You're putting me in a circle. And like, I don't. What have do you, a, like, What do you need well, to be offered? <laughs> no, no, no. When like, when they, Johnny comes over, audience members, you must have on hand. Just uh, just give me some water in a bottle, preferably that isn't. Cracked. You have that bottled water, okay? <laughs> that it, that you haven't already drank out of and filled up. Right. The sink. Yeah, okay. Well, I have this one by the couch. You have roofing it, but um. Uh, that's no. That's fair. Yeah, but uh, you gotta be careful of that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We watch. Uh, well, we I watch? mean, the Bud Light thing, like the Bud Light thing, it all happened. During, it was political thing, of course. But like, I'm not gonna go too deep into this. I'm just you know giving a little bit of context. But like, basically, I saw an influx of people trashing Bud Light and drinking Miller Light. Well, Miller Light's like fucking. <laughs> No, this is interesting because uh, there are some people that I know who um, don't to who used to drink Bud Light and don't anymore. And I, uh, yeah, I didn't know this, so now I am like, well, that kind of makes sense for that person. I kind of assume that's how (laughs) that would fit. You know what I mean? 
Like, I mean, but like whatever. We honest. don't we don't hate anybody, but yeah. We, but, but it's a you know it's a it's a bizarre time because don't Mullets send don't back. send hate to nobody. You know, mullet, mullets I mean, mullet, are back. I remember. Back and it's the I remember your haircut. upset of about mullets. It's the shittiest haircut you could get. It really they, is. They're like they're they're no one cool looks good for chicks mullet. now, though. They have like flashy, fancy chica mullets. You know. But that, that, that's that was that's not a new thing. There's been lesbians since the dawn of time that had to have a mullet. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> are you imagining like cave cave women with mullets? Is that what you're what envisioning? I mean. Like the mullet should have stopped there. Lesbians can have mullets, and then we could have we could have mullets in the '90s. We need Shashi Page here because she had a very mullet haircut. Oh God! Like when um, she was a kid, though. When she was a kid. No, recently, like within the last oh, three oh, years or so. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Not happening. I will drive this Johnny to shave her head if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. I don't, don't know. Do I, that to me. I don't do that. I don't think I like what if she has a weird shaped head? That's worse. But that's on her, you know. That's on her. She can't control what her skull is shaped like. I can't. <laughs> but uh, well, I mean, all kidding aside. All kidding mullet, aside. Is a mullet like? Is a mullet really a great haircut? It's the dumbest fucking haircut ever. I don't understand it because I, I think like we've had this conversation to... before. Why do yeah. why do you? I don't. It doesn't like. I feel like, like it would be halfway. uncomfortable. It looks like <laughs> it looks like you got halfway done with a haircut and the power went out. Dude, you know what I That's think what though? Like, like in my mind. Like I yeah. with I'm constantly thinking that my hair, if it touches me the wrong way, is a bug on me. Like yeah. if I only had hair just down my back, I would constantly like have that going on of like, oh my god, right. it's a bug. And it's I don't know, it's always shaved on the sides and shit. I mean, like, you know the what? Bowl cut, the bowl cut rock the whatever bowl. hairstyle makes you the happiest, and we sure. will, we cheers you for that. Well, I mean. Unless you have a mullet, but uh, <laughs> okay. but let's be honest, a mullet and a bowl cut are the dumbest haircuts ever, and they were '90s haircuts. Leave them in the fucking '90s. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, nothing, nothing is off limits anymore. I don't think it's kind of like you know style anymore. Some people can be '70s or '80s or '90s or whatever. Everybody like the, just picks whatever is their favorite yeah. era and they roll with it. Yeah. It's an interesting bunch, like the college youth right now, because I drive up and down, like from, like I drive. Oh yeah, you kind of more. Route. In... Yeah, yeah. For it's like I go down over by university a lot, and I see all the college students like just, you know, walking to class, and some of them are pretty wild looking. It's like whoa. See, I have, um, I am going to class. <laughs> I'm, I am near elementary, middle, and high schools where I live. Well, I, so I am not experiencing college kid wardrobe. I am seeing, you know, high school kids. No, I'm not like high school kids. I don't know. Everybody around where I'm at is pretty standard. I think, like, I'm seeing a lot of like Spider Man t shirts and, you know, like, you know what I see a lot of around is like I I think there's like a lot of kids I see in like fitness wear. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, for sure. Gear kind of, or like, what am I trying to say? You know, like workout clothes. Like yeah. workout clothes or like business clothes? <laughs> you said oh, you said form like formal? fitness, fitness, fitness. clothes. Okay. They've got like they yeah. like they all look like they're going to gym class. Yeah, but like that's that's kind of a thing too. It's like the clothes that they make for for like gym rats and stuff. You're going to the gym to be looked at, basically. No, that's <laughs> you know true. I mean? No, that is true. There's nothing like that workout make clothes that have gotten very fashion clothes. fabulous. Well, it's not like it's not just like I don't know if I want to work if I if if I worked out I don't work out. But if I've been I doing did, yoga. I, I don't know. I thought about getting a rowing machine. I used to row a lot. I rowing, have a rowing machine. When are you, you coming down? It. When are you coming down again? You should take it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like I gotta figure it out. I mean, I'm sure I'll come down for next. I mean, next year for that festival, I'll probably come down. But it'll 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 be in my shed. It'll be there. I yeah. it's not going anywhere that we I'm aware of. 
we should get the cabin next time too. No, for real though. Those like, cabins at Big Sue, oh, like yeah. that would be ooh, that could be kind of like a ookily spookily fun. We could get out, you know, like let's get the spirit box out and see if we can talk to some spirits of of the Palisades yeah. National Park. Well, I just think State it'd be Park. nice. To, I just think it'd be nice to podcast there. Just do a podcast. No, we weekend. should. Like, but we should sit outside so that we can like hear the yeah, the animals move. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Like do a podcast at night, do a podcast during the day. Yeah, yeah. No, for real. That would be pretty sweet. Talking about yep. podcasting. Um, I don't know if that like <laughs> this is gonna be an okay, we're gonna get to the movie. We watched a movie called Little Monsters. Yeah, yeah we'll get to it. We got an hour. We'll get speaking to of it. kid, I mean, we got whatever amount of time, who cares? Right. But like Speaking of kids, Little Monsters is what we were watching. But before Little Monsters, okay, now I lost it. What were we talking about? No, we, we were just talking clothes. about the movie. Yeah, fitness clothes. But like we were just talking about the uh No, the parks. The Going to the parks. Okay. No, yeah, I was parks, yeah. Jenny Boy, let me tell you what. We are so ADD, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I don't argue that. Uh, let me tell you. It's okay. Is it like it's fine. I was at Big Sue today, is I think what I was going to tell you. And this is, I first of all, I feel like this is going to be a little <laughs> bit. On, this is going to be Auntie Uncle Corner for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to talk about some shit nobody else is going to give a fuck about, but I want to talk about yeah. it. I was at Big Sue with Lucy, and I saw a deer jump across the river, and then its little baby deer like follow it and jump across it's across the river, and it was yeah. really super exciting and magical. And nice. you were talking about the state parks and I thought of it and nobody yeah, cares, sure. but it was a thing that happened that I thought was great. I thought, well, I mean, yeah. The deers are cute. Well, I think, uh, I think the uh, Palisade cabins are way better than the big Sioux ones because the big Sioux ones are just oh. by a sugar. No, the ones though, the Palisades are like, I love the Palisades. No, let's yeah. absolutely go to the Palisades. Ooh, wouldn't it be fun though? If there was like, you know, wildlife roaming around while we were podcasting that like would scare yeah. the shit out of me <laughs> well i just like the idea that those um those uh patios are built up on the cabin and then they're basically on a ledge right down to the water no yeah it's really cool like yeah. it's super neat but i just thought that was so stupid because there's like the ones in big sue it's just by a fucking a porta potty basically <laughs> I mean, you got to have a, a compostable toilet. It doesn't sound even plumbing. But oh, I don't but, like they. I don't know what they have at the. I mean, it might be one of those like just hole in the ground situations at the yeah. bathhouse or whatever in, in Palisades. Yeah, but you can shit I, in a hole. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. But I'll figure uh, it out. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you, you must. <laughs> you gonna, were you ever a Boy Scout? Fuck no! I mean, I, we, had, we had like uh, we had Cub Scouts. Uh <laughs> there's a funny story about Cub Scouts. I embarrassed the shit out of my dad one time. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let's hear this. My mom, like, she'll swear up and down that I'm I'm lying when I say this, but I wouldn't do this if this wasn't the wasn't the case. Okay. Okay. My mother. We, we you, re- you both remember this situation differently. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you ask my mom, she'll remember it, <laughs> uh, but not in the same way. No, no, no. <laughs> but uh, no, she'll. Uh, my mom had a fucking weird. Like they, they always dress me and my brother up in weird, like the same shit all the time because we were twins, but we looked nothing alike, so it, it made no sense. But um, <laughs> they made my mom made me and man Asia do that. She would dress. Okay. Yeah. Not all. Okay. There are so many Christmas pictures where Asia and me and my mother all have like matching tailor made dresses. Yeah. And okay. I don't mean tailor made like Kardashian fan. No, no, no. I mean like somebody's <laughs> G damn grandma like sewed yeah. up some curtain fabric. <laughs> like it was terrible. Like not even joking. We had these awful denim dresses one year. That had this velvet trim. And I shouldn't probably say that because it was probably my grandma that made them. But like, let me tell you what, they were some, they, they were terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, you upset your dad. 
Cub Scouts. <laughs> Distraction. Oh. <coughs> but we, uh, we do uh, stream of consciousness here, people. You got to follow us yeah, where we true. go. This is an embarrassing. This is kind of a honeydew story, if if you will. If you but, will. Uh, uh, if it please the court. But my mom, my mom always like would tuck my shirt in, and then put a belt on and tighten it. So fucking tight, and like tight and like it was a it was a weird belt because it didn't have holes. You just it, like it would like fed it oh, through. It was like the, corded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, those are fucking retarded belts. But um, okay. I couldn't get the belt off, and I pissed my pants <laughs> at Tom's guns, and I was traumatized. Absolutely traumatized. And you know what? You should be traumatized. That's very traumatizing. I was traumatized. You know what? I had no choice but to walk out with pissed up jeans. You know what I'm saying? You're not cool unless you pee your pants. And then my dad said he he like he couldn't believe it that he was he was embarrassed about it. Motherfucker, I pissed my pants. (laughs) Yeah, you were embarrassed. (laughs) Yeah. Ridiculous. No, but my mom and I talk about that every once in a while. We laugh. It's fun. And, so, and fun she says, no, that wasn't that wasn't her fault that she did it, it too tightly. It was the belt. It was the fucking belt. I couldn't <laughs> get it off in time. And I had to piss like a goddamn racehorse. Because <laughs> at, at Cub Scouts, we never... Cub Scouts was such a crock of shit. Because we, you never learned I was anything. in Girl Scouts and it was a crock of shit. You sold cookies and then you like hung out at <laughs> like the church or the community center and would like have yeah. a sleepover and watch movies. It was, <laughs> yeah. We didn't even do that. Did you, you not? Meet, no. Cub Scouts, you would meet at an armory once a week. You would do like a head Oh, that's count. a lot. Well, you, I don't know if it was once a week. I don't I'm think that. Kidding. I was going to say, I mean, like, no, but, I don't think, I, I, mean, I, we were not that active. Yeah. I'm, but it's like, possible, like, y'all. But did. it was a pointless meeting. It was a pointless meeting because you, you met there. They basically just said some bullshit. And then, um, and then you played uh, lightning. Was it lightning or thunder or something like that? The basketball thing. Huh? What is this? I think it was. I think it was lightning. Lightning or lightning. thunder? No, no, it was lightning. I believe the game was called lightning. It was a basketball game. I can't remember like, how it played, but you would play it all the time, like when I was a kid. Kind of like horse or whatever. Sort of, but it's fast. Like you have to. I think it's you have to make. Please email like us a, at johnnyhaleydof at gmail.com. Like, I, I want tell to think... tell us the weird games you used to play and what oh, okay. weird games they have. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, like, I don't know if they're on the up and up about lightning because it's like, that might no, be I'm a saying, I bet really there's all kinds game. of like goofy shit games like that that <laughs> were probably just like some local sure. whatever came up with it. Yeah. And this is a thing now that you do in PE class with all the kids or at well, Scouts. Is, okay, this is exactly as the what case may be. This was exactly what the game was. You had a line of kids up to the free throw line. And then you shot a free throw. If it went in, the next person shoots. The first person to miss, you have to go get your ball and run it back and make make a uh make, you can I think at that point you can make a layup or anything, but you have to go get your ball, run it back and make something before the kid behind you makes a free throw. If he makes that free throw, you're out. That's what it's. That's, that's yeah. It's, it's called no. lightning. It's like lightning rounds. Oh fuck! Listen, it. We, we, we basketball I think we also too. used to play something similar. I don't know if that's what it was yeah. called, but I know I was always out immediately, yeah. so I was never playing yeah. very much. <laughs> we just called it lightning because I think it was used as like a lightning drill in basketball. Like I was an in, I was a cheerleader. I did not. I went oh, and no, I was no, in no, newspaper yeah. and yearbook, so I did not yep. uh, learn the intricacies of like basketball or volleyball. Yeah. I played softball for a while. I was in sports, but I never. Seen I, okay, football. listen. Now we have really gotten into an extended auntie uncle corner <laughs> for just like. <laughs> It's totally fine. That was, lightning. But that's that's what lightning was. It was basically a lightning drill that we used in basketball practice. I was not in basketball. It was taught to me from people that were in basketball. Oh, okay. And I get you. Did, well, it was and then you would play we, it at the Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. Well, it, it was something that you could meet five people at a park and play for hours. You know what I mean? It was something like that. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, Back when kids used to play outside. Yeah, it was like 
that's all that's all we ever did when i was a kid was playing outside like i don't Sorry. really remember even having toys as much like i'm pretty sure we just played outside well like, we had toys and shit but like yeah you were when i was a kid you were outside all fucking day even like, I think even though like even when you guys had the PlayStations and stuff like we were still playing outside a lot. We didn't no, we didn't play video games that much. We played them. Like yeah. I think Jason fell into a rut of playing like certain games. And I so did I. But uh um but yeah, I like when I was like super young kid, I used to go help feed cows at a feed lot. We would bike out of town. I used to bike all over town all the time. Yeah, we would bike. We would bike across town and then a, like a two mile stretch out of town. Yeah, to go to the my speed lock and keep fast. <laughs> my friends and, and like, I used to go to the local museum and wander. Around. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but uh, yeah, when I was a kid, you were outside all the time. Like, oh yeah, for sure. I don't remember. Okay, since we're speaking about being kids, yeah. now let's sh- segue. Little monsters. Little monsters. Yeah. Um. I don't well, generally you know. enjoy movies that have kids in them. Mm-hmm. There are exceptions to that rule, but like there was all of the like kindergarten teacher, like the one, two, three eyes on me, like all those little, <laughs> yeah. like I get it. You got to right. do it, but I hate it. <laughs> like, oh yeah, for sure. For it's sure. so but upsetting. Like, yeah. If you were a kindergarten teacher though, I mean, you would have to do shit like that. Oh, I know, hundred percent. Like, I, I get it. It's the, but like, it's part of the misa yeah. saying of everything. But yeah, I that drove that. me. No that problem. drove me pretty nuts. Um, the main right. dude character, <laughs> like he yeah, was, the, the he was, dude. he was a hammed up like jackass, wasn't he? In the meat, like yeah. for most of the movie, like it gets cute at the. I mean, spoiler alert: this is what on Hulu. Is this on Hulu? Yep. Okay, well, spoiler alert, because it's not super old or whatever, you know, I mean. 2017? Was it? I don't know. I think it was 2017. Yeah. So it's not not too old, but yeah, it's old enough. Yeah, I don't know. Like there were, but there were some cute moments I did kind of like towards (laughs) the end when they're like, you know, singing the songs and the zombies are following their truck and they like start singing with them. You know, and it's like, no, if you just sing like they don't, they'll be I kind of that is kind of fun. Like if you would just sing to zombies, yeah. they would just they're too stupid. They'll just sing and it'll be cool. Right. Well, like what I enjoy, like I've, I've seen that movie before with Jason. And what I enjoy about the, that movie is there's certain little things everywhere that make me laugh so hard. Like, like the what? part of the like the part at the end when they're shooting them all instead of like just sing the you know if we just sing yeah just balls, sing him a song and they shoot them. Did you notice that the puppet gets shot? Oh yeah, the the hand puppet they're from the, the beginning. Hail of fire that's showing yeah. everyone gets shot and the puppet gets fucking shot. Like gets wasted so and that, there was like a dude in a bunny outfit or like one of those you know full, <laughs> yeah, full body like what do right. you call that mascot uniform kind of thing yeah i think I the, it, it's, the it's tv show the tv show like act kids tv show actor dude in the green yeah like how happy were <laughs> you when he died like oh, yeah, i'm gonna I'm say sure. There was a little bit of that throughout the movie for me yeah. of like, when are these people going to die? <laughs> like, I'm so sick of this. But like, he was a really fun character in that movie, though, I think, because he was just a, he was a kid. Because you got to consider how many of those people really are that way. Just pieces of shit. Oh, no, like, I, yeah. I absolutely 100% anticipated that that was going to be the case. You think of, is it Jimmy Savile from England? I can't remember. Like, I, yeah, classically, people who do kids shows are assholes. Like that's kind yeah. of a you know. So I anticipated that was going to be how how that character played out. Yeah, like um, well, like you, people are just fucking like a lot of those people are just weirdos because like the guy that did Blues Clues was a huge cokehead, and like <laughs> he was like a huge drug addict, I guess. There, like, I, I don't. I think that I think you could probably go through like a lot of like kids show. Like, I think probably Mister Rogers is the only one that was like 
actually legit chill, you know? Yeah. But he didn't have, so, did he have, well, there weren't kids on the show. Mr. Rogers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He had kids on there. Once Were there? A few, yeah, every once Not in a while, like at the ends, I think, at the end. Because hmm. he would sing to kids sometimes. Okay. I don't remember. I think. Like, I don't think uh, we really the... watched that. I remember watching Are yeah. You Afraid of the Dark on Nickelodeon. Yeah. 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 When I would get home from school. The. Oh, hey, did you listen to those albums by chance? I did. What did I you think? Did. Okay. The, uh, I took a few notes on it. Um, oh, look at you even took notes. I like, didn't get that in depth. Two notes. I took uh, my favorite song and then like. Uh, I uh, am still um, such a big fan of, of yeah. Kitty. <laughs> Kitty at my Kitty's foot and I want to touch it. Kitty's a great team. I would <laughs> say. Um, Kitty is a jam. Peaches is still a jam. Yo, Although. Peaches is just something that everyone knows. Yeah. I think at this point, if you haven't heard Peaches, yeah, you probably, there's a lot of people that probably haven't heard it, but it's. It's all in a lot of places. Like you, uh, can like, I say I, about I Peaches? People, the line, oh, like, the, like when I tell people all about that album, they're pretty surprised how many songs they actually know. On the oh album. no, I had that where I was yeah. like, I did not think I would know this many of these songs, and yeah, I did. Yeah, but but uh, Peaches, you were saying, yeah, Peaches. I was sitting one night singing to that because I had it playing. I, don't, I think I was like drawing or something. I was playing with my oil pastels and like, uh-huh. and I was singing along. And there's that line, "Peaches come from a can," and I was like, "No, they don't. That's so dumb." Like, I get that it's just a line in a song, but like, if I move into the country to eat a bunch of peaches, I want fresh ass peaches. I don't want canned peaches. What are you talking but about? But he's talking. He's talking about the. Uh... Peaches come from a can. They were put there, put there by, by a man, man in, in a, a factory, factory downtown. Yeah it's, just, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just an not... image in your head, I think. More or less. No, I get that. It was yeah. just, that was the thought process that it made me have was like, if I'm moving to the country and going to eat a lot of peaches, I want me crates of fresh ass peaches. <laughs> right. <laughs> I might even be moving to the country to grow my own peaches. Right. You got to be in like Georgia and Florida and shit, don't you? Yeah, it's one of those southern climate yeah. things. Yeah, you know what that song was actually written about? I what? watched an interview with him. I th- was, was like, the- I always think something slightly dirty. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Just okay. He he had a crush on a chick, and he was waiting in her uh, in her like front lawn. And it had a peach tree, and there was peaches all all over the ground. <laughs> and for, I th- I can't remember why he wrote the song itself, but that's where he was when he came up with the idea for the song. <laughs> and I can't remember if he waited for her to come home or if he left. But like, um, wait. So he had a crush on some. This is one from when he was like, how what? old? What? It was high school, I think, or something oh. like that. But he said, but he oh, like just think of the line. Um, that's really kind of cute. Squished a rotten peach in my fist and dreamed about you. <laughs> I know I, exactly. Like, but, like he just said that was about. It was about that. He was just waiting for a chick to come home in her that's front lawn. Really and, and there was a I mean, tree. it's a little bit stalkery, but a it's little bit, cute. Yeah. It's cute. That, I mean, that's high school stuff, right? Yeah. Like, or. Is that high school stuff anymore? Shit, I don't know. It was back in the day. I don't know. It's a different time. They're old dudes. So, I mean, they were, you know. I'm because, like, my brain is thinking, like, 16 candles, ducky. Yeah. Like, when they were kids, it was probably the early 80s. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, around that time. Yeah, for real. Like, oh. Or what's what's the one where John Cusack is holding up the stereo? Say anything. Um, Right? Isn't that the one? You know what I'm talking know, about, right? I know what you're talking you're about. Like, you know that can't. scene. Yeah, I know the scene for sure. Yeah. That's an iconic scene, you know? Yeah. It's a night on the rock a night at the Roxbury, too. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's called I think it's say anything. Night at the Roxbury. Yeah. There's another one I haven't seen in a long time that I really That's a good <laughs> fucking movie. I enjoy that. I watched that with my aunt once and she's so like <laughs> She loved it so much. It was like yeah. hilarious. 
It's a really good movie. Like Will Ferrell. I'm it's not really, like I'm always the biggest Will Ferrell fan, but yeah, I like Night at the Roxbury. You know what he was really good in? Um, he, uh, what the fuck was the name of it? It was a serious role he was in. Um, um I know he's done a couple of them. I know, like I'm not. I, I can't. There pull. was one where he. There was one where he was an auditor. Do you remember that one? Mm-mm. He would like audit people's businesses and stuff like that. I can that. see Maybe him in a suit. <laughs> like, yeah, but he I would know. audit. He audited this chick's business. It's like a cookie company or something, like a bakery. Okay. And then they, they ended up like meeting and stuff like that. But it's, um, it's, it's about a lady's writing a book about his life. And when she writes about it, he can hear it. Oh, and, and oh, he yeah. reads it. He reads it and then finds out that he dies at the end. Oh, okay. So he has to figure, he tries to meet He's her trying to, to avoid it. He dies like, at the end. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's that, a good fucking movie. Now I want to watch it because it does sound fun. <laughs> but like his serious roles are fucking good. Will Ferrell's a hell of an actor. He's really good. Same with Jim Carrey. Oh, I love Jim, Jim, Carrey. Jim Carrey. Listen, Jim I Carrey know Jim Carrey's like kind of been shit good. on by Hollywood for reasons unbeknownst to me. Like, I don't know what the deal is with that, but Jim Carrey is like, have you ever watched his comedy from like before he was really big? Yeah, he had like, <clears throat> I want to, didn't he do some kind of like, I don't know where his weird videos came from. Like, I well, remember seeing to. some old, it was like he was doing YouTube before YouTube almost. Like he was in a grocery yeah. store walking around and picked up a watermelon and just like rubbed his whole face in it and ate a bunch of it and then put it back. <laughs> yeah. But like he, he, like before all it, like all his acting videos and stuff like that, he was just a comic at the uh, comedy store. Oh yeah. No, I've seen yeah. like some of his stand up. Yeah. And he did impressions seen... and would do the making faces. And Have you ever seen his impression of a, <laughs> Uh, um, I can't remember if it was a bulldog or something like that, an um, angry bulldog or something. Or it was some kind of dog. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not gonna have to go Saint watch Bernard. like old Jim Carrey stand up. Yeah, his joke was <laughs> in, it was called the Angry Saint Bernard, and he would take some water, and he would just go, and he would just bark like that, and oh, and, and just shake just his face, and just let it go. yeah, very kind of like Gallagher almost. Jim Carrey was a fucking funny dude. Like, <clears throat> I like, you know, and he he's got like he does he's into like the spiritual wooey woo stuff like I am. Yeah. I'm about it. Yeah. But him and fucking Ace Ventura, I mean, come on. I want to watch Ace Ventura because I was just thinking about oh. that like a couple days ago. Like I haven't watched that in so long. Like I should go watch that. Like when he's the beginning of it, when his landlord's coming up behind him and he's like, yes, Satan. <laughs> jiggling his key. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, my God. So good. Ace Ventura. Yeah. OK. But yeah. Um, the album. Uh, oh, presence, yeah. Sorry. Back to ADHD. Remember? No, or this ADHD. is how we do. You got to sure. you got to follow <laughs> the trail and sometimes we loop around. <laughs> For sure. But the <laughs> album. uh the president's album i would say my three favorite songs on that album are i like uh stranger okay uh and then probably candy okay and then i would say mm-hmm. old man on the back porch is pretty good i you know what i really like I probably Bo still Weevil. like the pop. Bo oh, Bo Weevil was fun. I liked Bo that Weevil one. Fun. I was listening to that and just being like, "What are you talking about?" But I really kind of like that about the album, though. Like, and and even about like the Peaches song. Like, even though I was bitching about it, like it's it is kind of like like quirky, odd, and fun. Like, yeah. there's weirdness to it that like I dig it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> but I was gonna say like. I took just I I would say on the Unwritten Law album. Yeah. What, what is it? Elva. 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 Elva okay. What? I get okay. It's it's a very. It's very it's it's very much its time. You know what I mean? Like oh it's, yeah, uh, no, hundred percent. It's like it's almost on the verge of being like a pop punkish. Yeah. Time. Yeah, yeah. 
And then at times you can really hear their because they used to be a punk band. Like yeah. I, I, I used to, like I used to, like a couple of girls in my class listened to Under in Law when I was in high school. So I've heard some of their stuff. I've never heard this album though. This, this album, album was like me and my friend Angela cruising around town because there was nothing to do in little old Eureka where I grew up, like just jamming yeah, sure, out. Her driving her it. stick shift. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, but I bro. Would say my my favorite song on the album <clears throat> was uh Hellborn. Oh, that's a I love that one too. Hellborn's great. They're also great. Like a, I really love Geronimo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you would like. Yeah, that makes sense. Hellborn like, to me was more of an up tempo, mm-hmm. and then I really liked um, "Up All Night." I really liked. I the, love "Up All Night." I it was. Li- I I thought it was good because it was a pop punk song, but it was ska. Yeah. It was it was very skosh. Like I, I, I love just, "Up All Night." Yeah, they're just they're in the in the realm. Well, I mean, they came from the same place as like Blink One Eighty Two and shit like that. You know what I mean? So, oh no, yeah, hundred percent. Like when I was in high school, Blink One Eighty Two was like big shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. like uh, yeah, hundred like, percent. Uh, I mean, I can hear when I listen to the album. I heard Blink One Eighty Two. I heard Rancid. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's very much that area. Like. There was a, there's another, like, so I was into some kind of like really kind of teen angsty sort of like not, I wouldn't even say like more teen angst punk. So there's like a lot more sort of like whiny, kind of, you know what I mean? Like it was, um, was was ocean Avenue was another, I think that was an album by yellow card. Do you remember yellow card? (laughs) Do I remember yellow card? You fucking come on, bro. Really though? For one year, yellow card was fucking everywhere. Oh. Let's can we please Ocean Avenue? I think is the album. Let's put that one on for Ocean next time. Avenue. Okay, I gotta pick it. I gotta pick. Now one you too. gotta it's pick. Pick, pick, pick me. Pick me one. Like yeah, for sure. Like what's We're what makes re- you okay. think that era? Ocean. You want me to pick it on the era? Yeah. So we got like Ocean Avenue. This is what we're by do. Yellow Card. Although I do also okay. love like. um Blue and Yellow was a band that I really liked. Oleander was that like No, let's do let's do that one though cuz I think Okay. So uh, Yellow Card Ocean I'm Thinking Avenue. of like so many albums that I Oh yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's like let me look at uh, like yeah. But okay, like you know what I'm saying though, that kind of teen angsty sort of you know what I'm saying, like of that era. So some like when I say Yellow Card which I am so glad that you did know who I was talking about. Oh yeah, I know. I know <laughs> like, Yellow Card. You're like Yellow Card is fucking huge. Um, I'm gonna pick a. I'm gonna yeah, pick Ocean a, Avenue, 2003. Holy shit! I'm gonna pick a band that was probably around um, before then. I'm not really familiar with their history, but they've been around. Okay. Um, and they just came out with a new album, so we're gonna review that because I haven't listened to it yet. It's is uh, it on the Spotify. It is on Spotify. What is it's, it? Um, it's going to be The Hives. The Hives? Yep. I'm going to have to write this down. I am not familiar with The Hives. Well, the Hives have been around for a long, long time. Like, they've... I would say they've been around pre, uh, pre-2000, like, for a while. See, when you said they've been around for a while and they have a new album, my brain immediately went, did the Red Hot Chili Peppers put out a new album? Like, I bet they did. They're doing it all the fucking they prob- time. They were probably a band at the time that the Presidents released that album. So I would say they were a band in 93. They were, okay. They've been around. They've been around for a while. Okay. The What's the album? The, the Death of Larry. Do you have your computer? Hold on. I was gonna say I, I, I of, like the sound of it already. I was it's like, "What?" The death of Larry Fitzgerald, I think, or Fitzpatrick, or something like that. Fitzsimmons. The Fitz death Simmons? of Randy Fitzsimmons. The, the death, death of Randy Fitzsimmons. Okay, of uh, Randy Fitzsimmons. Is he a real person? I don't know. I wonder to myself. The Hives. They're a Swedish rock band. It says here. That's interesting. When did they start? Because they they've been around, right? Um, was it pre ninety five? I don't know if it says when they got together. Oh, on Spotify? No, I'm on just like regular Wikipedia or whatever. 
I'm t- I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to find it. I'm not the super fast. <laughs> You're fine. Oh my God. I gotta go fast. The hives chart history. What is this? Formed in 1993. Did you ever fucking call this shit or what? Fucking right. Johnny Boy for the win. Oh, okay. Uh that was pretty impressive. Well done, sir. They're kind of a unique band too because they always wear like dress dress clothes and ties and shit. Like they're one of those bands, but they're uh, yeah. They're like, you're gonna dig it. Okay. Like, based on based on what I've heard, like Unwritten Law, if that was your jam. I think you'll dig. Unwritten Law was so my jam. That whole yeah. album, like it's when I was little... re-listening to it, like it, yeah. it was one of those things where. Do you know what other album I just Asia and I both? So like I've been in a very, I don't know. I think there's like a lot of like high school me like listening to music lately. Yeah. Like so, Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? Very Stadium Arcadium, which was like when I was yeah. a freshman in college, I think. Yeah, that came out when I was. High oh school, yeah. Like, yeah. No, like Maybe I was later. freshman in college, so yeah, that sounds about right. Oh yeah. Around there. But um, uh, oh, fuck. The song is "Promise" that I'm thinking of. Eve Six. Remember Eve oh, okay. Six? Oh yeah. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. the song "Promise" by Eve Six. Yeah. And I I was telling Asia that I was like singing that. And I was like, I could not remember how much like how easily yeah. I could just spit those words and lyrics out. And I was listening to the whole album and I'm like, I can't believe how yeah. I just know all these lyrics without even thinking about it. Like I can just well, go did... right back into it and I just know all these lyrics. Yeah. I just recently listened re-listened to uh Twelve Stone uh Twelve Stone by uh Bush. Oh yeah, yeah. Burger. Uh-huh. That's a great album. What album was I thinking about? I think 2112 Rush I recently I was yeah. thinking about. Not that that's remotely the same era, but like I listened to yeah. it at the time. I love it. Yeah, okay, I, so The Hives, The Death of Randy Fitzsimmons. Yeah, and we're going to do that. And then we're going to do Yellow Card Ocean. Avenue. Yellow Card Ocean. Oh, oh, yeah. I remember oh, that shit. That like emo y stuff. Yeah, that was No, huge. that's like exactly what I'm saying. Like very whiny goth. Or like, like uh, whiny teen angst. Very yeah. emo. Or like My Chemical Romance. Yeah, but My I'm Chemical Romance. That's okay. Like My Chemical Romance and AFI. That's kind of more yep. Asia's vibe. I found that other episode, by the way. I'm going to edit it. We're going to yeah. come out with it. Going to get it rocking. <laughs> sure. But um, AFI, I think they had one album that I thought was all right. But I, I'm, I was never a huge fan of their music. <laughs> um, But like uh, My Chemical Romance, I never, I never liked them like as far as an album as a whole. I would say I, that about I AFI for had, me, like the only the album of theirs that I really liked was sing the sorrow. Yeah. And then the rest of them, like, yeah, I yeah. kind of pick and choose songs. Um, the AFI album that I thought was all right. Was the, uh, the one about sailing and black flags. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's like, we Asia sail under know. black flags. Yeah. Something like that. Black I flags. Can see the the cover. Sunset, I think or something yeah. like that. <clears throat> I can look um, it up. That was all right. That album was all right. But anything after that, and to be honest, I didn't ever like that whole album. I like maybe five songs. Right. Yeah. So it's like they were never a band that I really, really liked. Um, My Chemical Romance, I never liked their albums. But I liked a lot had, of their songs. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Like they probably had four or five songs that I was into. Like I like, like uh, Helen is a good tune. It's not my style, but it's good. No, I like that one. The Black Parade uh, is great. Right. The Black Parade, teenagers. I never really liked that much. Teenagers is good. I dig teenagers. And then I liked... Uh, not... Don't... What, uh, let's take that sound name? bite out. I That's not what... I dig the song, Teenagers. Like, teenagers. Yeah. Humans are gross. I get what you're saying. Ew. Uh, you live by school. Ew, oh. David. Uh. Can I say... <laughs> no, Listen. Sometimes like there because like I do live by like a, the schools and stuff and there's a track field near me and like I see the cross country people and I will see like middle school like I will see children boys that have their shirts off and I will be like you need to put clothes on you are a child I am upset it's gross sure. and but I can't yell that at them because then I'd be crazy lady yeah you'd be that crazy lady. Well, yeah, I mean I think uh, yeah, I can't I be that crazy of- I can't be that crazy grandma bitch just yet sitting on the porch being like, go put some clothes on. What's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah. But um, 
other than that, like uh, My Chemical Romance, I think Ghost of You is a really good song. I don't know if I remember it's, that one. It's probably it's one of those if I tune. listen to it, I would remember. Yeah, it's a slower like rock tune, but it's it's pretty well written, I think. I'm trying um, to think. There's another album that like. I know the song is Punk Rock Princess that I'm thinking of, but I can't think who sang that. Yeah. Punk Rock Princess. Something Corporate. That freaking album. There's sci- I think it was a self-titled album. Something cor- yeah. Corporate. Boy, were they yeah. emo, like, whiny. Like, I totally loved that album. <laughs> I was a whiny, angsty teen. Yeah. Let's just come right out and say it. Yeah. I mean, I listen to I listen to a mix of music. I listen to a lot of stuff. Like, well, um, I mean, like, we I, also come met, from. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. So stuff. like, we just I don't know. Me and him, we listen to a lot of different shit. Like sometimes I like, dig his kind of stuff a, though. Like, yeah, for sure. Very he's, he's kind of weird. A, <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's he's got a different. He's got his own style. Mm-hmm. But um, he's kind of the person I reach out to when I need new music. Like oh. uh, so I always throw a band at me or something like that. Yeah. But um very cool. Uh, I was gonna say I'm pro I'm probably gonna throw one of X albums in this mix to no, review. That it. would be super and fun. Oh I'm gonna take that's a great do... idea. Okay, after this one, yep. let's do that. Like let's find like little indie bands. And, yeah, we like, do that for sure. Or what yeah, like I did yeah. that. But I'm gonna do an album that was his one of his college albums that he didn't really talk about. The oh. band that he didn't really talk about. He talked about touring with this band, like when yeah. he was in college, but he never talked about the band itself. They were called Strap Hanger. Okay. So after this, I'm gonna do one of their albums. I'll let you know the album. Yeah, when, that'd be fun. Let's do comes. it. But it's definitely on Spotify, I'm pretty sure. Oh, sweet. I'll definitely yeah. look. <laughs> well, sure. there's also like Bandcamp or whatever. I think is where some of his stuff yeah, is. So, like, we can do that to too. Find it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's cool. It's one of the albums that he's drumming on, so you'll get to hear him drum. And I dig I'm it. I'm gonna say, you drummer boys. Oh, I love drumming. It's fantastic. But I, do you I know just, what I want to do? I had this idea. Okay, you tell me this, and then I'm gonna tell you my idea. Okay, I was gonna say if if you can ever go on YouTube and type in one of Ike's bands. Uh-huh. Just do this. Um, type in uh, like oh, right, you, right now. The, go to YouTube. What am I doing? No, no. After okay, after when after we were you send the, you send me a YouTube link. Okay, but like when Ike's drumming, do yeah. you know how guitar players have like <laughs> O faces when they're soloing and their faces doing all kinds of crazy yeah. shit. When Ike's drumming, he does stuff like that. And like makes faces. Jump. Oh yeah, Love he's it. so into it. Like he he does like. I can imagine just... it. Like he was very animated <laughs> when I was chatting him up for it's the, yeah. It's, Ike is one of the for like, no small Ike stories. Because I came, I went to the aquarium and I saw his band Strap Hanger when they went on the tour. I think it was a year or two ago. Yeah, like they they redid their old album. They didn't re- redo it, redo it, but they did a run on that album. Yeah, very and, um, cool. Yeah, watching Ike play drums is an experience because, like, his face. I dig it. I'm ready like, to see it. I like people who get faces. animated and get into yeah, what they're doing. Sure. That's the hey, good for them. For sure. You know what I want to? Here's my idea that I had. I don't remember what I was listening to that was making me have this idea with drums. I think it was Eye of the Tiger, actually. Eye like, of the Tiger. Yeah, and I was like. I wanted to drum and I was like, you know, what would be really fun is if I like did like, have you seen people do that, do that pour paint stuff where you like you pour a whole bunch of paint? I'm like, I want to do that. And then like drum yeah. on it with paintbrushes to a song and just like drum on some yep. other canvases that are empty and like see how it all comes out and just make a huge mess. Fling paint everywhere. Yeah. These are the dreams that I have for when I have a like really fancy art studio or like at least a space that I can use as an art studio. Thank you in advance, everyone who has decided well, to be a patron. T- Go join our yeah. Patreon, Johnny Haley DOF. At, uh, no, patreon.com slash Johnny Haley DOF. Right. There we go. But the, Sorry, I'm, I got to do the uh, plug thing sometime, you know. Absolutely. But there was a uh, there was a girl that I dated for a little bit that was into those paintings where you just lay plastic on the floor, put a canvas down, and then you poke a hole in the bottom of a paint can and you just swing it on a string. 
and oh, just and you just let it, yeah. Like a pendulum. <clears throat> I kind of, I mean, you made one of those paintings probably once a week. I mean, it's fun to just kind of play around with stuff like that. Like, I yeah. get it. Not everybody's into like the abstract stuff like that, but like, I really like the abstract art. Like when you're just playing around to see what happens. Like, I was right. fun. I was never really the visual art person. I could never draw. Or no, me I like I wish that I had that. I, you know, I don't have the classical art school, like art oh. skills to like draw still paintings or like portraits or whatever people. But like, I still yeah. like doing it's all valid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It's all art. It's all cool. <laughs> it's all self-expression. Right. I'm about it. Yeah. But yeah, let's do. uh Yellow card, Ocean Avenue, and then the hives, death of love. And what movie? Okay, you picked Little Monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let you pick because I picked I picked the last okay, one. Okay, no, listen, I kind of want to watch. Right. Let's see. Oh, okay, so on Tubi, when we when you look up creature on because I was looking for we were looking for creature from the black lagoon. Yeah. You, like when you look up creature, there's like there's some pretty bitchin' titles that come up. So like there's this one that's called the she creature and it looks like it's from like the forties. It's got like that kind of classic kind of okay. a creature from the black lagoon type uh, poster or whatever. Okay. There was something that's else true. called book of creatures. I don't know. And then there is a movie just called like there, there were a lot of titles coming up that I was looking at the covers just being like, I think I would like that. Yeah. I think I'd be into yeah. that. So okay. go on to me and like, look at the creature movies and just like, Whichever, like, pick one that jumps out at you is like, yeah, that looks bitchin', and let's do that. I so I just want just select from the creature movies because I want to watch them all. Well, um, uh, did you say? I'm very excited the about all creature? of them. The, the she, she the she creature. So I am like, what does she turn into? What creature okay. does she turn into? We can watch and that one. Like a, <clears throat> and you said it's like a 1940s kind of thing. It looks like it is. It's something that they review on uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, so it has to be bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I saw Mystery Science Theater 3000 on yeah. there, and I'm like, yeah, it's got to be bad. Well, there, I saw like, um, I saw like Hatchet and stuff like that on there. I love, I like, I love monster movies. No, I don't think so. But I have, okay. I did decide. Um, we were supposed to have bad weather yesterday. Yeah, and, you know, batten down the hatches is what people say. I've decided. Yeah. I've decided that no, it's butter down the hatchets. <laughs> you want to sure. butter your hatchets down because if someone does break in and try to kill you with an axe in your sleep, the butter will make it slide out of their hands. True that. So butter down your hatchets for safety, people. True that. Or just have a gun. I listen. Mm-hmm. I can't have a gun because I will make stupid mistakes with a gun. Like yeah, I hear you. <laughs> like I don't it's think I responsibility. Could, I don't think that I, I have should one, have. But it, I have one, but it stays in the case. You know what I mean? I don't. Take yeah, it but out. you and you also have experience using one. Like I like I oh, would need some training. Yeah. I don't have hunter safety training or whatever kind of stuff. I should. That's something that I should do though. Like I don't know. Well, I mean, I could give you a run. Just in case the zombie apocalypse ever would come around, Johnny, Mm -hmm. and Little Monsters becomes a reality and we need to be like, I got to learn how to use firearms. It's not hard to shoot a gun. You just got to not be scared. You know what I mean? Can't Don't shake. Don't have limp arms. Yeah, and you're, I'm, you're already I'm asking honest. too much of me, man. Well, hey, I'm I'm gonna be honest. If you have if if your arms are limp, that gun's gonna come back and bite you. So well, you better, no, you I this is why I'm like, nah, I think I think maybe I will stick to like mm-hmm. Nerf guns, yep. water guns. Oh my god, yep. do they still make super soakers? Is that still a thing? Um Super soakers? I need to go on Amazon and find out. Are super soakers a thing anymore? Probably. I'm sure. I'm sure they, they make, have to they be. Make probably, they make probably super soakers that we dreamed of when we were kids. Oh, I bet they do. I bet they're like I'm wild sure. and crazy now. You remember, probably... Do you remember all the craze with super soakers? Was like, it just had to come out with more than two tanks. And everyone was like, shut the fuck I up. I don't know. Really, just, though? You have you how have much water in a water big. gun? Oh my god! Yeah, you could have a tank this big, or you could have three tanks. 
that Just are big. smaller than it's that, but they're in a row and they're side. super cool. But you're like, oh, it's for three fucking tanks, man. I mean, yeah. I get for parents, I guess, like, yeah, make them more busy, make them fill up three of them instead of one. Like, you <laughs> keep them busy. But like, I remember when I was a kid, we we would buy super soakers like that, and then we'd no, meet yeah. at the park. We'd meet at the park on the weekend, and we'd have the biggest fucking water fight you ever seen in your life. Oh, a hundred percent. Again, kids with fucking super soakers running around, just playing outside, and people. I love it. Yeah, so good. <laughs> right. Sure. Oh, you know that's a benefit of being from small town nowhere, is that you yeah. could go do that stuff, and you know. Yeah. Is that such a thing anymore? I don't know. Not really. I don't know. It, it It's a bit of a different time. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. For when we were kids, I think people were a little more trusting. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you could be. We were, I mean, you could still go to the small you town where and, and, and like, kids can still you know, go play by themselves and be fine. Yeah. Well, let's be honest. If I if I had kids in Fargo right now, I wouldn't feel too comfortable with them going somewhere alone. You know what I mean? That's fair. That's fair. I watched too much true crime There's... for that shit. No, hundred percent. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. True crime. True crime like, will ruin you for so many things. Speaking of, okay, I don't. I we not that we want to end on like a sad note or anything or whatever. This is just kind of yeah. a. So I don't know if you know last podcast on the left. Yeah, I know of it. Yeah, my brother listens to it. I okay. I love last podcast on the left. Swear to God, like they, I have been listening to last podcast on the left forever. Mm-hmm. Like I can remember some of their early episodes that I was listening to when I was really like in some rough places in life that that was sure. helpful to listen. Yeah, for well, sure. One of their too. one of their like main dudes of the last podcast on the left, Ben Kissel, is like not with the podcast or the network anymore all of a sudden there's not really an explanation it's like he went away to take care of like his mental health and physical health they said and then all of a sudden he's not gonna be and like oh it's i don't even know these people but like i just really felt really you know it's like i've been listening for a long time and that podcast has gotten me through some shit and it's kind of like watching you know you see somebody that you kind of like resonate with right and it's like you think someone looks like they have a life that you think you would like but that doesn't mean everybody's happy you know no like i don't know it's you know (laughs) i don't know like it is it's it's uh i saw that and i was just like man i don't know i was kind of a little heartbroken about it and i'm like oh i hope he's okay but well, yeah, I sorry, know, I don't mean I don't want to try to be ending on well, a downer I mean, note. It was just a thing that I was totally that was the thing I was thinking was, about at the beginning of the podcast, actually. Yeah. Like, but like, was he like known to do drugs and stuff like that? Was he like a drug addict? Maybe closeted a drug addict. I don't think so. Rehab? Like, I think it's uh, like Aisha and I were kind of talking about it. I mean, and this is yeah. odd, not that I'm I don't know anything about any of it, but it's speculation like for yeah. a while we kind of were getting the sense that it was getting draining on him that they do talk a lot about like murder and like because they do like there are podcasts yeah. that they talk about like serial killers and cults and like yeah it seemed like for a while that like it was probably getting to be too much and i get it because like i'm the same way like i don't listen to near as much true crime stuff as i used to like i used to listen to my favorite murder all the time and now i'm like i can't like, it's too upsetting all the time. Like, they're funny and they make jokes. And it's like, yeah, true crime has been interesting. But, like, I'm kind of in a different space now where I'm like, it's just too intense and it's too upsetting. And I need more, like, comedy in my life. And I need more happy shit in yeah. my life. And I need more fun, silly glasses on the podcast shit in my life all day long. Johnny Boy. Sure. You know, but, like, I'm a different kind of person. Like, true crime doesn't affect me in an emotional way. Like, it doesn't. See, I kind of could see that, that like it's for you, it's just more show. of a historical sort of thing. So it to doesn't. Me, well, to me, it's just a story. Yeah. I love a story. I love a good story. Um, That's valid. I get that. That is valid. I, yeah, I do like, like, I think though, like even like, I'll be honest, like even in the fictional stuff that I watch or have been watching, like. I'm really going for the comedy, the silly, the funny, because like the stuff is because like 
And I've, I think I've said it to you before. You've got Game of Thrones right there in the background. Like Game of Thrones kind of yeah. broke me for TV shows. Like I can't do drama TV shows. It's too much of an emotional investment. I can't deal with yeah. it. Like also, I don't like it's a vibe I can't handle. Yeah, <laughs> the best TV show I've ever seen what is pro- is probably uh, probably Breaking Bad. Everybody always talks about Breaking Bad. I've never watched it, and I, but it's again. I'm like I can't. It's like Pretty the good. Ozarks, like the Ozarks with Jason Bateman is so yeah. good. And Laura Linney. Is it Laura yeah. Linney? Yeah. And I guess I love Laura Linney. I'm so telling you. So good, though, but I couldn't. It was too intense. Like I couldn't deal with it. Yeah. Breaking Bad, I I think I would put that as probably my favorite show. Like ever? This, it's that fucking good. I love Rick and Morty. <laughs> I get that. It's, That's it's, where it's, I'm it's at. A, it's a big well, it's a big investment too. It's five seasons. No, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like you know, but I'm telling you, Breaking Bad is to me, well to me. It's my opinion, but like uh, to me, it's I think it's probably top three shows ever. It is. I don't. You know, that good. would be really hard for me to. Pay. I love Shit's Creek. I would have to put like Shit's Creek would be on there for me just because it's so fucking cute and it's so fun. And I just I was gonna like, say, if love Shits all Creek, the characters. If Shit's Creek is better than Breaking Bad, oh man, Shit's but Creek it's a, amazing. It's a vibe, though. Have you not seen yeah. Shit's Creek? I know. I know what it is. I, I don't think. Oh, you have it. to watch Shit's Creek. Oh my God, what yeah. are you doing? Get watching Shit's <laughs> Creek, John. Oh, Jason. Jason and I watch a lot of like we watch a lot of true crime stuff, and then we watch we watch a lot detective of detective like, stuff. Movies. You know, I used to like Not a lot more of that. Stuff. Oh, like Too I like detective fun. stuff a lot, but now yeah. I I'm I'm more in the. It's kind of like even my horror movies. I want to be like weirdly bad yeah. and funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Um, like, okay, let me just to put this out there for Halloween. Halloween. Halloween proper. All right. We gotta watch because it's my favorite, and I want and I watch it every year. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I I I want you might be able to find it on YouTube, but try to see if you can find it. Okay. I love it. We'll watch that one then, yeah, for sure. And then yeah. um, the two album or uh, what? Which movie are we trying to find? Oh, we're just Whoa. gonna find it. You got to find it. We're doing creature movies because I'm a creature Creature movie kind of girl. I do. I want to watch all those creature movies. I love I love a monster movie. I do. I I don't you know where even if they are trying to be real super serious and like but I kind of feel like with monster movies. I can you think of a monster movie where they sort of like are able to pull off the seriousness like where you Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like a monster monster. Oh, like uh, a monster movie. I feel like with monster movies, mm-hmm. there's always some element that is a bit silly and funny to me. Yeah. One movie that I could think of that might if it's on there might be in the running is uh probably Cloverfield. Oh, I've seen Cloverfield. I remember Cloverfield. Yeah. Those ones are more I like that was kind of early on in that era of that kind of movie. Yeah. The like I don't know. But I mean, that's like a monster movie, I guess. Kind of. I I yeah. like the monster movies that are, you know, kind of. Well, we'll watch. We'll watch She Creature, and we'll see what happens. Let's watch. Yeah, we'll let's see what happens. We'll find, find that something. one on Tubi. Find the the She Creature, and let's watch that one. <laughs> yeah, for and, sure. Okay. And and creature. if if you see another creature movie that looks excellently fun, we can you know yeah. we can we can continue to do this beyond spooky season if we want for sure you know we can i mean i feel like spooky season can extend all through the winter time well i mean there's there's plenty of movies there's thanksgiving movies christmas movies there's you know what i mean i think there's some christmas movies that like you know because you could can like gremlins is a christmas movie kind of yeah technically <laughs> like you know you can find well, it is, yeah, yeah. I love it. That, there's... I love. I also love the ice harvest, even though it's not like you know a Christmas. Right. But again, takes place at Christmas. Yeah, there's plenty of Christmas movies. 
We can do that. I dig it. I'm with it. Johnny boy. Sure. I like this new silly glasses and pop culture hangout fun <laughs> times. I'm digging it. I'm about sure. it. Sure. And I hope sure. everyone who's been listening is also enjoying it. I hope right. you will go to our Patreon and the links below. I hope you'll follow us on the TikToks and get on our YouTubes. I'm going to put some links and I'm going to put some videos of us. I'm going to get some little snippets of our silly glasses All right. moments that are good and cute and fun. Because why yeah, not sure. put that on our TikToks? But anyway, I've been Haley. I've been John. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and this has been <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Haley, Haley Day, Day of, of fun. fun. Thanks for listening, y'all. And we'll see you next time for more fun. Later. Later.